Hello and welcome. My name is Charlie. I'm a senior technician here at Diamond Multimedia, and today we're going to be learning on how to install the VC500 CXT on Windows 8. Okay, let's get started here. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is be sure that you've placed a disc inside your, your DVD tray. And once you do that, you simply go and click under this folder here and go to where it says Computer. Once you're there, locate your DVD drive. In our case, it's a Blu-ray drive. We're going to go ahead and right-click it and select Open. Okay, now once you do that, you're going to go ahead and see all of these folders. Now, there's only three files that you're going to need to install. This is the driver, showbiz, and soft. Okay? So, we're going to get started with the driver. Now, here we're, we're given the options of x86 or x64. Now this just indicates if your version of Windows is 32 or 64 bit. Now if you don't know the answer to this question, you can always just move your mouse all the way to the right here and click on the gear icon for the settings, go to your control panel, and select where it says System and Security. Once here, just click on where it says System and it'll let you know if you're 64 or 32 bit right here under System Type. Okay. So once we have this information, since this is a 64-bit system, we're going to go into the x64 folder. Now here we're going to go ahead and click on this Setup application twice with the left mouse button and this will start the install. Okay, now here's our user access control verifying that we want to install this, so we'll say yes. And here we go. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and select Install. Now, this here, the China Sound Video Game Controller, this is the audio portion of the driver. So in order to get sound, you have to install this. So you're going to go ahead and select Install, and then Install once more for the human interface device, and Finish. That's it. Driver's installed. Now we're going to go to the next folder. Now here we have Soft. And the same thing as we did with the driver, setup, the type is an application. Click it twice with the left mouse button. Here's the user access control. And we're going to go ahead and tell it to install. And that's it. We've installed the Easy Grabber. Now here we're going to go to Showbiz. Now, keep in mind, when you purchased the VC500 and noticed the disc came in a little white paper envelope, on the back of this envelope, you are going to have the license key for Showbiz. So be sure you have this handy before you go ahead and try to install it. Okay? So just like we did with the other two files, we're going to go to the setup. The type is application. Left click it twice. We're going to go ahead and say yes. We do want to install ArcSoft. Now, ArcSoft is going to take a little bit longer to install because it is a slightly larger file, okay? Now, here we're at that window that I mentioned. Now, the username can be anything you want it to be, so I'm just going to go ahead and type in a couple of random letters here. Now, keep in mind that when you type in the license key for Showbiz, be sure that you include the capital letters, as I'm doing here, and include the dashes. If you don't include the dashes, it will not install it will tell you that you have a bad license key and you're going to have to type it in again. And here even I made a typo. Let me go ahead and correct that. Okay, and here we go. Now, in this screen destination folder, this just means where, where Showbiz is going to be saved on your computer. So you just go ahead and hit Next, hit Next once again, and it's going to start the install. Now, this part's going to take a little while, so while, while the computer goes ahead and installs this, we're going to go over the settings in the Easy Grabber. Okay? Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go ahead and click on this gear icon. That'll take you into the setup. Now, the video format, right now it's blank because I don't have a VC500 unit installed or connected to the computer at the moment. But this should read NTSC underscore M. 
and be sure that the VC500 is plugged into the computer before you open up the Easy Grabber. Now we're going to go to the main settings, which is the record format. So here, be sure that you have it, the VC500 plugged into the computer and that the record format is set to DVD or MPEG-4. These are the two acceptable files. If it's set to anything else, you're going to want to go back into the settings and make that change. Now the save folder, it's going to go ahead and give you a different location than what we have here. We've already gone ahead and made this change. So what you're going to do is you're going to hit the browse button and this browse, browse for folder window is going to come up. Here you can tell the Easy Grabber where you want to save the video file to. So in our case we went ahead and selected desktop and hit OK. But you can go ahead and select libraries, documents in your, your video folders, public videos. You can go anywhere on the computer at this point. So our, our preference is on the desktop so we're going to go hit OK. You're going to hit OK down here. Now to save and apply the changes, there's a small X over here. This is to exit the program. So we're going to go ahead and close that out and here we are. Showbiz has already finished. And now Showbiz is done. So now you have all the necessary files in order to record, edit, and burn your precious memories from your VHS onto the computer and onto a DVD. Okay. Now, if you need any, any help or if you have any other questions, you can always go ahead and contact us here at diamond, diamondmm.com. Go, simply go to support and submit a ticket, and I or one of my other technicians will be able to assist you. Thank you very much, and have a great day.